Hey guys, it is time for the inspiration of the day. And today's inspiration is going to come from one of my favorite verses. I just really, I say this all the time because it's almost like I really want people to get it and to really get it and to bring it deep down into you and understand what God has designed and what he's created in us, his church, his believers, his Body. We are the hands and the feet of Christ. And so sometimes I think we forget we are the hands and the feet of Christ. So we're supposed to be moving in a manner that is going to bring glory and honor to God. And the verse comes from Romans chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. I'm going to read from the easy to read version. And it says it like this. Each one of us has one body. And that body has many parts. These parts don't all do the same thing. In the same way, we are many people, but in Christ, we are all one body. We are the parts of that body, and each part belongs to all the other parts. I know that's a little deep. Some of you are possibly lost. This is my body, my arms, my hands, my forearms, my elbows, my neck, my chest, my head, my ears, my nose, my eyes, my mouth, my feet, legs, all of that makes up Angela. That's how your body works. Okay. Yes, some of us might be missing an arm or a leg. However, you're still one body that one body. So I have many parts, many parts of me. My hands don't do the same thing as my feet. Granted, yes, there are people who can paint, draw, cook with their feet because they don't have hands, right? But they all have a part. My arms have a part. I don't walk on my arms. I walk with my legs and I walk with my feet attached. That's how I walk. I am many members, but one body. Can we get that? I don't care what color you are, what nationality you are, what tribe of Judah you're from. I don't care. When we are in Christ, we are many different parts. But he, Christ, is the head. Get that in your head. You are not the head. You might be a finger. Pick them at 10. You might be a toe. You might be an elbow. Left, right right, left, <laughs> the arms, the shoulders, you know, all the different parts. But we all have to work together because Christ is the head. Not Angie, not you, or you, or you, or you. Christ is the head. If you're calling Christ your redeemer, your savior, your, your strength, your source, your all-sufficient one, then we have to have the mind of Christ. Right? That's how that has to work. We are many members, many different parts. We don't all do the same thing. And it's okay. We are not cookie cut. My hands and my feet, my left and my right, they don't do the same. Of course, I did that backwards. It was left, it was right. I said left and then it was right, so it's different. But the whole point is, get it together, understand, what is God calling you to do in his body? Because we are his body. We're his hands and his feet. What are you stopping somebody else from doing? Because you've decided that you want to be the head. You're not the head. Christ is the head. So let's come together. Let's work together. Let's be one body for Christ. Forget everything else. Nothing else matters. Only Christ matters. Man, you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Be blessed. Know that God loves you. Know that he is your thought process. He should overtake it all so that your body can work in perfect shape and form. Because when your body isn't working together, there is a disease and there's a malfunction. Let's stop being a malfunction in the body of Christ. Be blessed, guys. I will see you next week. Don't forget, like, share, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, guys, be that one body for Christ. Bye, guys.